Right, have you ever been prescribed antibiotics only to take them without any real results? It's hugely frustrating, it of course, for both you and your doctor. And it may have to do with antibiotic resistance, which continues to be a problem in the U.S. Now, on your side's Tammy Scardino tonight has more on how you can be a part of the solution. The discovery of antibiotics for bacterial infections is considered to be one of the most important breakthroughs in medical history. Unfortunately, bacteria are adaptable. Those germs mutate so that they can evade that action. So for every drug we try, the bug finds a way to slip away because it wants to live. Infectious disease specialist Jim Letterer says a part of the problem is that patients request antibiotics, perhaps not knowing that antibiotics only treat bacterial infections, not viral ones. There's nothing I can give, no amoxicillin, no penicillin, no sulfa drug that's going to make a virus get better. Bacterial and viral infections have a lot in common. They both spread through coughing and sneezing, and they have similar symptoms of fever, inflammation, vomiting, and fatigue. But structurally, they're different, especially in how they respond to medications. At St. Alphonsus, Letterer says doctors have access to an infection prevention monitoring system to help them determine which type of infection they're dealing with. He says electronic medical records will also help them to better track illnesses. Bottom line, if you have a virus, all you can do is treat the symptoms. For example, if you have a fever, take some Tylenol. We want appropriate use of the right drug at the right time. Natural antibiotics have been around for thousands of years in the form of plant extracts and naturally occurring minerals. But are they safe and effective? Dr. Michael Carlfeld says yes, they are, if used properly. When it comes to somebody's health, I think it's important that they have a choice and that they have alternatives. The most well-known natural antibiotics include garlic, commonly used to treat minor ear and throat infections, and vitamin C used in high doses to treat illnesses like AIDS and whooping cough. Depending on the ailment, an essential oil could be ingested, used topically, or inhaled. But prevention of getting sick in the first place could be as simple as maintaining a healthy immune system. The best option, uh, from my point of view, is then to support that, support the body, and keep the gut flora intact so we can then make that part of the solution. No matter what the treatment type, it's always best to seek out expert advice. Tammy Scardino, Idaho, on your side.